Just a short drive north of Phoenix, Arizona, Sedona is a magical place that we like to visit as much as possible. There's just something so amazing about the red rocks and the stunning formations everywhere you look. Beyond the beauty, Sedona also offers many natural and man-made attractions, making it one of our top favorite places to visit. In this video, I'm going to cover our family's top must-see and do activities in Sedona, Arizona. Coming in at number 5 is shopping. When you visit Sedona, you can easily spend a day or more visiting all of the unique shops and marketplaces. You may be thinking, well, I can shop anytime back home. But if you like to find locally made arts, crafts, boutique clothing and more, then you have to visit the Talakapaki Shopping Village as well as the shops in Uptown Sedona. Beyond shopping, the big draw here is art. Sedona has a huge art community and you can spend hours walking through the galleries and meeting local artists. Our favorite secret find at the Talakapaki Village was a place tucked away called the Chai Spot. It rained suddenly during our visit and we ducked for cover here. What we found was an extremely cozy little balcony with Indian style cushions to sit on and enjoyed some of the richest, most authentic chai tea we have outside of India. We literally hung out here for a couple of hours and had the best time. So it just started raining here and we went upstairs and found this real cozy place called the Chai Spot where you order some really authentic chai tea and they just have little rugs to sit on and on this patio. Turned out to be really cozy and uh, get us out of this thunderstorm. So really great find here if you're in Sedona. Moving back up to Highway 98A, the shops at Uptown Sedona cover multiple blocks and parking is free. There's a mix of dining options, attractions and souvenir shops to find here. One thing you'll notice about Sedona is the lack of franchise stores and restaurants. While they do have a few, it's all a very uniquely local experience, which we absolutely loved. Number four for us was taking a pink Jeep tour off-road to some amazing views. There are several companies to choose from, but we had a great experience with Pink Jeep Adventures taking the scenic room tour. Our driver was extremely knowledgeable and we had such a great time climbing up to what we thought were the best views in Sedona. The tour took about two hours with a good 20 minutes in the middle for sightseeing and photos on top of the lookout. If you're looking to drive yourself, we saw a ton of off-road recreational rentals all over town. We'll put a link to the Pink Jeep Tours website in the description box below. We'll also link out to our full video on the Pink Jeep Tour just in case you're interested in that. A short 30 minute drive from downtown Sedona is the ghost town of Jerome. We actually took a detour when driving up from Phoenix and made Jerome our first stop. Just driving up to this old copper mining town which sits on the side of a mountain was such a fun experience. We had lunch at the Haunted Hamburger restaurant and it had amazing views and even better food. They do have a hotel here and many people believe that it's haunted. We recommend coming up for a day trip and just spending a few hours exploring the shops, museums and eating some really good food. We learned a lot about the history of Jerome while visiting an old theater. And we even captured a strange blue light on camera moving sporadically. Tell us in the comments what you think that this could be. Number two on our list is Slide Rock State Park. This place was so amazing and we highly recommend coming in the summer to enjoy the natural water slide that flows through the park. The gate opened at 8am and we arrived right after that and found that the parking lot and the creek wasn't very crowded at all. We walked a short way down to the creek where we enjoyed sliding, walking and swimming for a couple of hours. By about 11am, this place was popping and full of people. So we decided to walk back up and hike a short 3 quarters of a mile trail at the top of the cliff which gives you some awesome views and takes you through an old apple orchard before looping you back to the parking lot. All in all, we had the perfect day at Slide Rock State Park and we highly recommend it. I'll also go ahead and post a link to our full video of Slide Rock State Park in case you wanted to check that out. By far, our favorite thing to do in Sedona is to get out into nature and explore the Red Rock Trails. There are so many to choose from that you could mountain bike and hike a different trail every day and still not see them all. Our top two hiking trails are definitely Cathedral Rock and Devil's Bridge. 
Cathedral Rock is very short and somewhat steep near the very end, but it offers great views and is a very popular hike in Sedona. Devil's Bridge is a little bit longer if you don't have a four-wheel drive to take you halfway up the trail. We parked our vehicle and it's about a two and a half mile to the bridge or five miles round trip. Everything except the very end is a wide dirt road. The last 100 yards or so is a steep climb up to Devil's Bridge and we saw many stop here or turn around. But if you're brave enough to continue, you'll be rewarded with one of the best selfie opportunities in all of Arizona. We had some other hikers take our photo on the bridge and it was an awesome experience. Definitely worth the effort. No matter what you decide to do in Sedona, you'll be surrounded by natural beauty the entire time. We couldn't love this place anymore and we hope that you have a great visit here. If you want to see more videos like this one, we would love it if you would like and subscribe to this channel.